Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Glam with Suzanne. My name is Suzanne. For those who are newly joining me, thank you so much for stopping by. Um, so today's big makeup day is going to be sweat proof makeup. So the biggest thing I'm always asked on my Instagram is what do you do to keep your makeup long wearing, um, especially during humidity, while you're on vacation, uh, while you're just being a sweaty beast in the summertime. <laughs> Kind of like me. It is one of those biggest questions on how to make your makeup long wearing, long lasting through these hot summer months. And um, so that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So I'm going to show you my tips, my tricks, what do I do to keep my makeup super long wearing. Um, if that interests you, <laughs> stay tuned for the rest of the video because that's what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on that. Um, and if you like beauty, makeup, you know, all that good stuff that comes with getting glam, make sure that you smash that subscribe button and join me at Glam with Suzanne family. And make sure to follow me on my Instagram, Glam with Suzanne. I will put it on the screen for you guys to follow me on there. I am very active on there. That's a brand new page for me. I also have a second page called Foxy Charm Sneak Peek where I talk a little bit more about makeup releases and stuff like that. So I will make sure to put both of those Instagrams on the screen there for you guys to find. So without further ado, I am going to get right into getting my makeup on and show you guys how to keep it sweat proof and not through the summer months. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that I already did off camera was my skincare routine. I think that it's crucial for any makeup look to have a very good skincare routine. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of context, my skin is combination. I get very, very oily around my T-zone. So right here on my forehead, my nose, right here kind of around my cheeks area as it tends to crease as the day progresses and around the chin um, and then everywhere else is like the desert Sahara like I don't know what the hell's going on I get dry patches over here on my cheeks um, and all that good stuff but being that that's my skin type um, what, what I do is make sure that my skincare routine addresses those things now I'm gonna jump right into the steps that I do to Put, to put my makeup on. So one of my tips to keep my makeup long lasting is I like to first spray a setting spray, an oil control or mattifying setting spray on my face prior to primer or anything else that I put on my face. So the very, very first step for me, the one that I'm using today is the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. Another one that I also really, really love is the Urban Decay all nighter setting spray as well, but I ran out of that right now. But this one has been killing it for me, so I'm gonna use this. Let that set for a moment and get dry. So the next step for me is a really good mattifying primer. The one that I've been really loving through the summer months is Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer, and this is a soft matte, so it's not overly mattifying um, but it does give you a matte finish which is really really nice so I'm going to take a couple pumps of this and put it all over my face so now that I put the Fenty Beauty primer all over my face uh, that will help keep it matte throughout the day however if I want to be super extra which is usually what I like to do <laughs> is I'm going to use a second primer and that is by Smashbox it is their mattifying primer stick. I like to use this strictly in the t-zone area because it has like a pore filling quality but it also keeps the area super super matte. So this is an extra step. It's not absolutely necessary but it's what I'm doing for today. If you are using this product you want to make sure that you apply a very thin layer and when you put the product in make sure that you go back and either push it in with your hands or use a brush. So to fill any of the pores and to have a very smooth and flawless finish. I'm going to do a third step and this step is actually one that traditionally I probably would have never done before but I've noticed it working for a lot of different makeup artists out there so I've been trying it out and it's been working very well for me as well and that is taking a little bit of setting powder and putting it in the super oily areas 
prior to my foundation. And I know that sounds absolutely insane because you never usually want to do powder before liquid foundation. It's just not what we usually like to do in makeup. But this does tend to work for keeping my makeup super smooth and flawless and prevents any separating of my foundation as I tend to get hot and sweaty throughout the day. So I'm going to do that right now and show you guys what I'm doing. So for this step, I like to use a translucent setting powder. So I'm going to take the Pretty Vulgar Powder Room setting powder and I'm just going to push it into the areas that tend to get the oiliest. I'm going to take a little bit on my brush and go ahead and push it in to my nose area as well as my T-zone here, so my forehead. And I like to do it here, which is like my chin area. And the other area that tends to separate from me is my lap line. So I go ahead and bring that down as well. So what I'm doing is I'm actually pushing the product in to make sure that I get a nice matte finish there and it doesn't get too cakey. Because the goal is not to have too much powder on your face, the goal is just to absorb any excess oil and to prevent excess oil from surfacing. So that's all we're trying to do. Now that I've done all that work, <laughs> so now that I've done all that extra work, I am going to move on to my regular long wearing foundation routine. So I'm going to start by color correcting under my eyes a little bit. I do get a lot of darkness underneath my eyes, so I like to use an orange or peachy toned color corrector. Today I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange corrector. I'm going to take a little beauty sponge and blend that product out. Don't worry that it looks orange right now. I'm going to be using a concealer and a foundation and before you know it that will cover up the darkness under my eyes and I will look normal once again. So I promise you guys. So let's move right on to my favorite long wearing foundation right now or I have two actually so I'll show you both. So the two foundations that I'm loving for keeping my makeup long wearing throughout the hot summer months are the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Uh, this one's super long wearing. I find that it's a comfortable matte looking. It's not too overly matte, but it is very long wearing. It's also medium to full coverage. And then the next foundation that I really love in the summer months is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This is really, really good stuff. It is super full coverage though. So if you, uh, you can use it sparingly. This foundation is full coverage, so it is really up to you what type of glam you are going for. Um, but this is another really good long wearing foundation. So from these two today, I'm going to be using the Fenty no filter foundation just because I like the consistency of it a little bit better and I do not need it to be as full coverage as this for today. The next tip that I have for you guys is that I like applying my foundation with a beauty sponge when I want it to be super long wearing. I feel like I do notice a difference when I take the product and I pounce it in and press it into the skin that it tends to look a lot more flawless number one but it also feels like it stays a lot longer for me as well and the oil and stuff doesn't tend to surface as quickly than when I use my brush to apply my makeup. So that's what I'm actually doing today is I'm going to use a beauty sponge. This one here is just by Real Techniques. I also like the beauty blender as well, but this one is super affordable for those who are looking for an affordable dupe. This tends to do the trick for me as well. Just taking foundation onto the back of a makeup shield and I'm going to apply it to my skin. So I just applied my foundation. I like to push it in to make sure that it gets right into the pores and has a flawless finish. And so you just want to take the product and pounce it onto the skin. I do look a little ghostly right now, so I am going to add some color back to my face. So I will do that by contouring the perimeter of my face. By the way, for those that are wondering, my Fenty Beauty Foundation shade is shade 300. To contour my face, I am going to be using the ColourPop Cosmetics I believe it's a no filter concealer and this is in the shade Deep 60. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. So now that I've buffed out my contour, I'm just going to place a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes and highlight that area as well as my nose bridge. For the concealer today, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 290. Another concealer that I really love that's long wearing um, is the ColourPop Cosmetics No Filter Concealer. That one's super inexpensive as well um, and it's long wearing so that's a great option if you don't want to go with the Fenty one. 
So here's the most important part of the video. It is to set your makeup so it does not move or crease on you as the day progresses. Because God knows when it is super hot outside, you're, you will sweat. That sweat will penetrate through your makeup and break up your foundation. And it's horrifying. It's like the worst thing that can happen. And it happens all the time. So the setting powders that I really love are... Um, the I love the Fenty Beauty um, Banana Powder. This is the one that I've been using a lot. I also do really like the Pretty Vulgar Powder Room Translucent Powder as well. But for today, I'm going to be using this one right here. So I'm going to take the product, and I'm just going to take the powder and push it in underneath my eyes so they don't crease. And I also will be pushing it into my laugh lines. And for me, because my nose gets super, super oily, I'm actually going to push it into the rest of my nose as well. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to dust it on with a brush. So I don't like to bake for too long because for me, if I do bake for too long, the makeup starts to look a little too cakey. So I'm just going to brush it off right now. Now that my makeup is set, it is not going to go anywhere, and I'm going to move on to bronzing my face. Um, especially during the summertime, I like to look bronzy, and I know that with setting your face, usually it takes away a lot of the color to your skin. So the bronzer that I'm loving is also by Fenty Beauty. Surprisingly, there's a lot of Fenty in this video now that I'm thinking about it. And it's not sponsored or anything. I just really, really love Fenty. So I'm going to be using that bronzer today. This is Beige and Gal. Or beige and gal, I think. I'm going to mispronounce it because I'm just not Caribbean. So for those who don't know, I'm actually from East Africa. It's a small country called Eritrea. <laughs> so that's where I'm from. I'm going to go right into this color and it is such a nice warm brown. And I'm going to use an angled brush and brush this around the perimeter of my face. I'm just going to try to get some color back. Next up is I'd like to take a little bit of this bronzer and go ahead and carve out my nose bridge. So I'm just gonna go underneath a little bit here to kind of carve that out. And the same on the other side. I wanna make sure that you only pick up a little bit of product. The last thing you wanna do is draw two straight lines on your nose, um, but I do like to bring out a little bit of color and to define my features a little bit more. Okay, so there you have it. That is the base. <laughs> I know it seems like it's a lot of steps, but it really is super fast. Normally when I'm not talking through it, I can get through it very, very, very quickly. Um, the next step is, and the almighty and most important step is eyebrows, because I don't really have bushy, fluffy eyebrows. So I am going to put them on. So there are two products that I'm really loving for brows, and that is my go-to Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brows, and I use the Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony, um, which is their darker shade. It is like a super dark, ashy brown. Um, it doesn't come off black or anything like that. And the other product that I'm loving lately is by Iconic London. It is their eyebrow cushion. So for today, because I want my makeup to be super long lasting, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Ebony. I'm just going to apply it with an angled brush. So my tip with my brows is that I always like to use the most product towards the arch and the tail of the brow, and I just like to take whatever's left on my brush and brush it through the front. So that way you get a gradient effect and it's not too harsh. So now that my brows are on, I'm just going to carve them out using a little bit of concealer. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Pot Concealer in the shade NC35. So there you have it, my brows are on. So the one thing I really, really love about the Anastasia Dip Brow is that it is a gel formula. It lasts super long, and I would say that it goes through, like I can wear it sweating throughout the hottest summer of days, even while I'm at the gym, because to be honest, I don't leave my house without my brows. I really do need my brows. If I do nothing else, I always shade them in. Um, and so this will survive the hottest of weather so this is a really good one to have so now that my base is done that's all the hard work so far um, I'm going to actually just do a quick little eye look and I will zoom past that I don't want that to take too much of the videos time and then I'll talk to you guys about my thoughts at the very end 
So I'm gonna create a quick little everyday look, just a bronzy eyeshadow look. And I am gonna be using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. It is pretty beat up um, because I use it a lot, but that's what I'm gonna be using for today. I'm gonna go in with the shade Burnt or Orange as a transition shade. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Sienna and put it into the crease. I'm gonna go in with the shade Fairy, which is this really pale gold color right here. And guys, I'm not trying to make a cut crease or anything. I'm going to end up buffing out the edges anyways. I go back in with the shade Sienna. I'm going to go ahead and deepen the outer corners by adding a little bit of Cypress Umber. And I also like to put shades underneath my um, lid right here just to give it a bit of a more smokier look. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of Sienna and Cypress Umber underneath. So this is my go-to bronzy everyday makeup look. So normally I just leave it like this. Um, and some days I decide to do a wing. It really just depends on how I'm feeling. As far as a really long wearing waterproof liquid eyeliner, I really like the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Liner. This one is the micro tip, which is a very thin felt tip. Um, and it does stay all day. So um, this is one of the options if you want to do a wing liner. I'm just going to put on lashes and I'll be right back. A long wearing gel liner that I really like is actually by ColourPop Cosmetics and this is in the shade Swerve. It's just a black color and I like to rim the upper part of my lid and the lower. And the great thing about this gel liner is it doesn't melt as the day goes on. My makeup look is almost complete. I'm going to do my favorite part, which is highlighting. I'm going to be using the Artist Couture uh, Diamond Glow Powder in the shade Illuminati. I forgot to let you guys know that the blush that I used today was by Gerard Cosmetics and it is in the shade Wiped Up. It's almost done. It's one of my favorite blushes, uh, but this is what I used off camera. So now I'm going to set my makeup again using the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. So now that I've set my makeup, I'm going to move on to my lip color. Uh, in the summertime, I go for one of two things. Either I go for a liquid lipstick that's super long lasting, which is kind of the theme of today's video, which is what I'm going to use, or I'll just go with a gloss. Uh, but for today, like I said, I'm going to go with the liquid lipstick. One of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas is by Gerard Cosmetics. They are so, so very good. Uh, this one is one of my favorite nude shades. It's called Bear It All. I really love this nude color, but to define my lips, I'm going to use a NYX Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Nude Truffle. So there you guys have it. This is my sweat proof, long wearing makeup tutorial. I hope that you guys like the tips that I provided you today. And definitely leave me a comment below and let me know what products you love for summer, what products are working amazingly for you so we can chat and I always love to try new things. And definitely subscribe and join the family if you haven't already. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. And make sure that you follow me on my Instagram. I have um, my beauty Instagram, which is Glam with Suzanne. And I also have a beauty page that does subscription boxes and things like that. And it's called Boxy Charm Sneak Peek. So I will put both of them on the screen there for you guys to follow me on there. I'm very active on there. Um, so yeah, so thank you so much, guys, for watching the entire video. And I hope to see you in a future one very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.